Hello everyone, this is Anand Khan. I have completed my BMS and recently I am working as an intern in a hospital. So friends, as we have various systems in our body and in that the most important is the digestive system. So today I am here with my first lesson on digestive system and that too with the anatomy of the digestive system. So to begin with, what actually is the digestive system? Digestive system is a group of organ, okay, which are working together to convert the food into energy and to basic nutrients in order to feed the entire body. It consists of the following parts. The first one is the mouth. You all must be aware of it. The mouth is the only place where the food begins its journey. It is also known as the oral cavity. Inside the mouth, there are many accessory organs, or in other words, the organs which helps the mouth. So, there are various accessory organs that aid in the digestion of food. And that are, the first one is the tongue with its muscles, which pushes the food into the pharynx. The second one is the teeth, which choke the food into smaller pieces. And the third one is the salivary gland, which moistures the food. So, when the salivary gland moistures the food, it helps for easy passage of the food as well as easy digestion of the food for further. Now the next part is the pharynx. The pharynx is also known as the throat which is a funnel shaped tube and connected to the posterior end of the mouth. It passes the masses of chewed food from the mouth to the esophagus. Now moving forward to the esophagus. So, this esophagus is the part of the digestive system or a muscular tube containing the pharynx to the stomach. It carries the swallowed masses of chewed food along its length. Now the next very well known organ is the stomach. We all know that stomach is nothing but a muscular sac located on the left side of the abdominal cavity and it acts as a storage tank of the food. As we intake the food, for some time the food is stored in our stomach, okay? Then further, it passes for the process of digestion. The next organ in that sequence is the small intestine. It is a long thin tube which is about 1 inch in diameter and 10 feet long. This small intestine is very important because here few folds are present. This fold minimizes the digestion and absorption of nutrients also takes place here. Friends, you must know that about 90% of the absorption of nutrients takes place in the small intestine due to presence of this fold only. Now moving forward is the liver. It is just a accessory organ. So, which is a triangular in shape accessory organ of digestive system which is located in the right of the stomach. It weighs 3 pounds and its function is the production of bile. Now, moving forward to the gallbladder, it is a small pear shaped structure which is used to store and recycle the excess bile from the small intestine so that it can be reused for the digestion of subsequent meal. Now, the next organ is the pancreas. This pancreas are the large gland located just inferior and posterior to stomach. It is 6 inch long. The next one is the large intestine. It is the long thick tube about 2.5 inches in diameter which is about 5 feet long and located just inferior to the stomach. It wraps around the superior and lateral border of the small intestine. That's all with the anatomy. Hope you all understood. Next I will come with the physiology to make it more clear. Thank you.